let's get into the pattern. First, we're going to start off with our um, hair tie. I'm using um, just an elastic hair tie. I'm using a blonde colored one just because it's easier to see in the video than black with black yarn. And um, I have a size J crochet hook, and this is the um, Bernat velvet yarn. So we're going to start by tying a knot. I like to tie my knot so that it's kind of close to where the seam of my hair tie is. And then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to complete our stitch, which I do not know the name of the stitch. Basically what you're doing is you're doing um, two double crochets at the same time and um, they're right on top of each other. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert into that second chain in our chain four. We're going to grab the yarn and pull it through. So then you're going to have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over again and this time insert into the center of the hair tie, grab your yarn and pull it through. And now you have five um, loops on your hook. You're going to grab the yarn and pull through two, grab the yarn again and pull through two, and you've just completed the first bottom double crochet and now we're going to do the top double crochet. So we're going to grab the yarn, pull it through two, grabbing the yarn and pulling it through two. So now you have two double crochets that you did and they're right on top of each other. So for the rest of the pattern, what we're going to do is you're going to insert the hook um, in between the two other stitches. And so we're going to yarn over and insert in between the two, grab your yarn and pull through. You're going to have three on your hook. You're going to yarn over and now insert inside the hair tie, grab your yarn and pull through. Now you have five loops. You're going to grab the yarn and you're going to pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two grab the yarn and pull through two. And we're going to do this as many times as we need to until we have a nice full um, scrunchie like this one here. I go ahead and crochet these. I'm going to do it one more time for you guys just so you can see what I'm doing. We're yarning over, inserting in between the two bottom double crochets, grabbing the yarn and pulling it through so that we have three on our hook. We're going to yarn over again, insert into the hair tie, grab the yarn. We then have five loops grabbing the yarn, pulling through two, grabbing the yarn, pulling through two, grabbing the yarn, pulling through two, grabbing the yarn, pulling through two. And just as a reminder, that's two double crochets on top of each other, and we're always going to be inserting in between the two stitches, then into the between the hair tie. So here I am, I'm back at the end here, and we'll, it ended up being 55 um, stitches for me on this. I think that a lot of things factor into how many you do, obviously the size of your um, elastic hairband, and it probably also will matter which yarn you're using, because some of the yarn is a bit thicker than the others, so if you're using like the Bernat Baby Velvet, it's thinner, so you might need more. Um, stitches. So I'm on number 55 here, I'm just going to go ahead and complete it. And when I finish, I just kind of cut my yarn and I pull it through. And I just use my crochet hook. I know that you can use like a darning needle or a tapestry needle or something like that, but I just use my hook and I weave it back down um, across the top. And then I, I'm going to go back through and kind of weave it in between that first initial chain four and the um, other hook there because I feel like it kind of holds it together so that your um, scrunchie doesn't start separating as you wear it between the two um, starting point and the ending point. And so I'm going to just weave down in between these two back down to the middle of um, that last stitch and that first chain four. And then when I get to the middle, I'm going to um, then grab the yarn that I, you know, put on in the beginning, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to weave back and forth between that last stitch and um, the chain four, and I'm going to weave it up to meet my other string. And the nice thing about velvet is that it really is very forgiving, and <laughs> you won't really see much of what you've done there weaving it in. But now I'm back in the middle here and then I'm just going to tie a couple of knots. Tie a few 
there. And then after you've tied your knots really nice and tight, I mean, don't pull so tight, this yarn will break and then it'll mess up. But then you just want to kind of trim close to your knot. And look at that. You've got a velvet scrunchie. And I just, I really love the way this looks. It has such a different effect than the other um, velvet scrunchie that I do. I love the other one too, but this one, I don't know, it's just fuller and looks just really cool. So then I like to package them with two or so and then I'm going to use one of my scrunchie wraps here. I've just created a new set of wraps. This is my Christmas wraps so through the center there and you wrap it around. I like to use double-sided stick tape and then I trim and then you can dovetail them if you want. Um, 